MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Milwaukee Brewers and the San Diego Padres. Stay tuned for Padres Baseball next on the show. Zach Davies will be the man on the mound for the Friars. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, thanks, Matt. Zach Davies coming on to pitch. Not a big, strong guy, but he's a control guy that pumps the strike zone full of strikes. 89 to 92 miles an hour with sink. Has a curveball, has the slider, and also the straight changeup. He needs all four of his pitches, not overpowering. You'll know if he's on early, he'll be throwing a lot of ground balls. In now is Lorenzo Kane. He will lead this one off today. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to pull it in is Hosmer, and there's your first out. Here's Brock Holt now. Comes in 0 for 9 in the series so far, so looking to turn things around in this one. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Davies has pitched just under 120 innings and posts a respectable ERA in the high threes. Goes the other way and this is in the air out to left. Here comes the left fielder and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. That in third. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Christian Yelich. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Keston Hiura would be next. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a foul pop behind the plate. Mejia has a play, and that retires the side. Gone in order are the Brewers. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Adrian Hauser, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Here's Juan Ligares. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gone. Batting second. The first baseman. Eric Hosmer. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Kane is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in now for San Diego. Tommy Pham. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line hard. But this is a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. 
You know, D-Row, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. Payoff pitch one more time. swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central and that'll get down for a base hit the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired three up three down for San Diego we are still scoreless Digging in now for the Brewers, Keston Hiera. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. The 1-1. Hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. The catcher, Omar Narvaez. Next for Milwaukee, Omar Narvaez. He was responsible for both of his club's runs batted in in last night's ball game. Two and two the count. No score here as we play inning number two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Into the box now, Avisail Garcia. A three and one count to the Brewers' left fielder. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. The three and one pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. The three two pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two. No, that's the ball. Come on, team. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base Batty and that's fit. just what they did right the there. Big break. strikeout. Batty. Keep that guy off the base path. Machado. To the plate now. Manny Machado. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hauser has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. And now pitch on the way. Got him. That is good. Here's Will Myers. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. 
That's a ball. Dan Dero, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal the series right here. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up, and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Padres down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Digging in now, Eric Sogard. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. The 2 1. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Digging in the switch hitter, Justin Smoke. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Softly hit here to the left side. That's a hit, the first of the game for Milwaukee. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits, and that's exactly what that was. A pitch soft liner into left field. Nice job. At the plate, Adrian Hauser. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball, one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. Dozier on to Hosmer, but it'll come too late to get them both. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Kane. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Third inning, no score to this point. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. So striding in, Brock Holt. He flew out in his last at bat. One one. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. A run, a hit, and a man left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Brewers are out in front, one to nothing. now as the Padres prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning and this lineup has been terrific for this club all year and a big part of their success comes from their legs 
Coming into this one, they're leading the league in stolen bases, and while that doesn't necessarily translate into offensive production, one player told me, our speed is definitely a catalyst for us to get rallies started. And it's not just steals. We can stretch hits into doubles and triples, and that makes it a lot easier for us to get things going. A lot of good athletes on this club, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. fouled away. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -back once he had the hitter down in the count. Bases are empty, one man out. And that misses two and one. He's struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Up next, it'll be the pitcher for the Padres, Zach Davies. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. So stepping in, Juan Ligares, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Mejia at second with two down. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. One left for San Diego. It remains one nothing. New inning set to get underway, and up next, the sweet swing and left handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. All even now, two and two. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. At the plate now, Keston Hiura. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. You only see about 10 of these pitches a year. 
the change up on a tee in the middle of the plate. But tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit. Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez, left side. Machado has it. Dozier. On to Hosmer, a double play, and that ends the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kane is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now back. Left fielder. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Two balls and a strike. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit ball to second. Over to Smoke at first and there are two away. Now back. Next to the plate for the Padres, Fernando Tatis Jr. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Here's Manny Machado now. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Pitch out, nothing doing. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Kane is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Padres leave one. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up Abisayu Garcia. Two and one. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The third baseman, number seven. Striding in once Eric. again, Eric Sogard. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. One run, two hits, one error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Heading out towards shallow right. Myers is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, the switch hitting power bat of Justin Smoke. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Lifted in the air out to right. Myers will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers, but they're up one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. One, two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this will bang up against the wall. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. One and one pitch. Taken, strike two. One ball, two strikes. A runner at second, nobody out. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Set and the 2 2 pitch. It's laid off of for ball number three. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. It didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Riding into the box, Francisco Mejia. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The 2 1 home. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Zach Davies, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And there's ball two now. You put yourself in this situation, you got to get yourself out of it. You got the pitcher at the plate, 2 0 count. You got to take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Two balls and two strikes now.
loop down towards short. The second for one. On the first, a double play, but meanwhile, the run is in that'll tie the ball game. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Juan Ligares. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Line hard toward right center. That gets down and the inning will continue. And that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a two to one ball game. Outside of taking a ball in the seats, Dan, these were my favorite knocks to get. Two outs, man on third, and you're able to upset that entire team, including that pitcher, with a late two out ribbing knock. And it's so frustrating from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You kind of you're in trouble. You're one pitch away from getting out of some trouble. Make one bad pitch, a base hit. The inning continues, and another run batted in. Now the three and two pitch. And he fouls this one off. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Softly hit toward the hole. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Padres two and the Brewers one. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Your attention, please. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ryan Braun will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Hit down the third baseline. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench. And he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a fastball. But gets an off-speed pitch. Doesn't try and do too much. And drives it for a base hit. Into the box, Lorenzo Kane. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. As a look, now the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Brock Holt will be next. This is well struck high and deep toward the left field corner and he's going to make the catch on the warning track a fine running play there for the first down. Digging in to try it again Brock Holt no hits to this point. Runners on first with one down. Just hung in there on that one.
This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batter, right fielder, Christian Miller. Standing in now, Christian Yelich. Two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Hits are now even at four apiece. This ball will be chopped foul. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. Ready now. Two-strike pitch on its way. High in the air into shallow left center. Pham comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. And this throw gets away from him. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Ripped on the ground to first. Hosmer has it. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits. No errors. And two men left stranded. Part of the order. Three, four, and five coming up. The Padres lead it two to one. Corbin Burns is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Corbin Burns. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Tommy Pham. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Skied into straightaway right. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first out. Now that is up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. One for two on his line so far in the game. Comes back with a good slider there, and it's full three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And there's out number two. Now back. And in steps man. Manny Machado. Manny. Machado. One one. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for San Diego as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Omar Narvaez. The 2 1 home. Grounded softly to the right. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now at the plate, Avisail Garcia. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here now the 2 2.
and a swing and a miss here. So it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, the it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. So now to the plate, Eric Sogard. Nope. Three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. He's around first, heading for two. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Here comes the Padre manager up out of the dugout heading for the mound, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Craig Stammen will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Into the box now, Justin Smoke. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Two and two. Here it is. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Tatis ranging into the outfield. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. You're David Phelps will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Jed Jerko will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number five. So here's Will Myers, his past batting line against David Phelps. He's 0 for 9. He's also gone down on strikes five times. The 1 2. Still a ball and two strikes. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's 2 and 2. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. At the plate now, Brian Dozier. Two balls and a strike to Dozier. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball at the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound. And then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat 
where the hands to that spot and carved the inside half of the baseball with power. Two two pitches fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Kane is after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. Greg Garcia will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number five, Greg Garcia. Up and in on the hands, it's two balls and a strike. Two out with the man at first. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. The 3 2 pitch lifted down the line and left. In there, a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Juan Ligaris. He's working on a one for three thus far. Runners at second and third with two gone. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Wow, the Padres have been scuffling so far. They need to get a big hit, and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. Well, to two balls and two strikes now. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Back up the middle and through into center field, a base hit. One run scores, the throw to the plate, and the second run will score. It's now a four-to-one ball game. Hey, Dero, that's a big Get RBI back. right there First to stretch pitch. this lead to three. Right. Takes a lot of pressure oh, off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. In now, Eric Hosmer. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled away. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. So it's two runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Padres four and the Brewers one. Emilio Pagan has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 14. Emilio Here's Jed Jerko now, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. One one a fastball high, two and one now. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 2 1. Line toward right center. Lagares is there and he has it for the first down. Good contact to start out the at the inning. Field. Thought he might be on base with some Go sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. 
Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Lorenzo Cain. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And this is swung on and missed to our quickly retired to start inning number eight. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box, Brock Holt. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. Machado shading to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They trail it four to one. J.P. Fireisen is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 75, J.P. Fireisen. Bottom of the inning now, and coming forward the veteran outfielder Tommy Pham. He's set. Here comes the 1-1, one, one. and not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And now pitch on the way. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. To the plate now, Fernando Tatis Jr., Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now with the plate, Manny Machado. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And it's 1-2. One and two. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. Ready to deliver the 1-2. and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Kane is under it. And the inning is over. Padres down in order, but they lead it four to one. Kirby Yates comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. In is Christian Yelich. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive. And that is in the left field, so the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. Hey, excellent job right there. Leading yeah, off the man. inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense.
Stepping in now, Keston Hiura. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that's going to be high two and two now. As a look, now the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. low as he's able to lay off the slider. Omar Narvaez, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. The closer is supposed now to slam back. the door in his opponent, okay. but he left the door yeah. wide open with a walk fine. there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. Ready for another shot now. Omar Narvaez, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Ball, one and two now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. At the plate, Avisail Garcia in for strike two. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Runners are at first and second with one away. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. This pitching staff has done a really good job against now this back. guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. At the plate now, Eric Sogard. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. The Brewers down to their final strike. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Fouled off. Two down, runners at first and second. That's lifted the other way out to left. Makes the catch, and the Padres have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. And the score finishes 4-1 to today.
the San Diego Padres used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Zach Davies earned his ninth win of the year. Kirby Yates records the save, his 23rd of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.